everyone, my name is Nana and welcome to my channel A Puzzling Lamb. For my first video ever, I thought I would show you all the puzzles I acquired in the month of May. If there are any of these puzzles you'd like to see featured in a video, please let me know in the comments below. And of course, if you like this video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. The first pile of puzzles I'd like to show you is all the puzzles I got second hand. Normally I don't have very much luck finding good puzzles second hand, but this month was a good one. And first off, a big one. I got this puzzle from a friend for free. Completely crazy. It's a 8,000 piece <laughs> hay puzzle. I'm not even sure this will fit in the frame. See, amazing illustration. It shows the world history from the year zero to 2000. This will be the biggest puzzle I've ever put together when I one day <laughs> put it together. 8,000 pieces. Until now, the biggest puzzles I've done is 3,000 pieces, so this is quite a leap. The box has been opened, but the uh, bag with the pieces inside haven't. And it comes in two bags, and I'm assuming it's because the puzzle is split in two. I would love to put it together as... mix the bags together and put it together as one 8,000 piece puzzle. But I think I might have to do it in, in two... So it's 4,000 pieces each, uh, simply practical space reasons. <laughs> um, it's a very big puzzle, <laughs> but I'm looking forward to it. I have no idea when I'll get to it. <laughs> the next puzzles. On a small, slightly smaller size, I found some hand-cut wooden puzzles. Old ones. This one is from a Swedish brand. It's 150 pieces and I don't know what the image is. There's no image. Pieces are here. So that's very exciting. And more hand cut wooden puzzles. This from Victory. Victory is a puzzle brand that existed from uh, I believe 1922 to 88. But they have since, in 2022, started again selling uh, laser cut puzzles. But this is... This is hand cut. Oh, and I'm dropping some pieces. I'll get those later. <laughs> again, don't know the image. There is some information here. You can see. It says it's 200 pieces, Indian pageantry, Eastern scene. So that's exciting to see. And then also for Mick Victory, an even bigger one. This one, you see here, is 600 pieces and says family pets, children and animals. This is a really great find, and I paid basically nothing for them. Um, so very excited about those. Then I found two from MB, from, I think it says 1994, from the same series called The Edge. So this is a thousand piece puzzle, but it's cut into a series of frames. So as they say, they were sold over 650 straight edge pieces, 28 sides and 16 corners. I'm very excited about this one and I think it's gonna be very difficult just based on the image alone, but also on the cut of them. Very interesting. I've never seen these before. So I got this one with penguins penguins on the beach 
and this one positively cattails. Same concept. So that was all the second hand puzzles I got this month. The next pile is puzzles I got from a puzzle store simply called Puslespilsbutikken, which means the puzzle shop. It's the only physical puzzle shop we have in Denmark. In May, you could buy a surprise box, which cost 400 kroner, uh, but the value of it would be at least 800 kroners. And you didn't know what puzzles you were getting, so it's a bit of a risk, but I figured it out afterwards, and the value of these were actually, I think, over 1,000 kroners, so definitely worth it. So the first one is this one from Wax, Wax Shop, I'm probably pronouncing that wrong. I, uh, I'll see if I can find a better picture of it and put on screen. Uh, not a cheap puzzle, uh, at least not in Denmark, so very happy about this one. Then I got this thousand piece round Ibu puzzle. I have actually done this puzzle in 500 pieces, but I'm very excited to try it in 1000 pieces. I haven't tried a round thousand piece puzzle from Ibu before, so uh, very happy about this one also. Then I got three penny puzzles, which is these 150 piece mini puzzles. So I got this one called Relax, this one called Best Friends, and this one called Bunny Love. All of these I had, I already had, have most of these penny puzzles, but uh, they're really great puzzles and I don't mind having more of them. They're great for small gifts, so um, yes, happy about those two. And then there was a puzzle that was actually on my wish list, a New York Puzzle Company. And I love New York Puzzle Company and I love Janet Hills. I have more puzzles by her. Uh, this one is called Sand Shark Bar. Perfect summer puzzle. Uh, I'm completely in love with Janet Hill's illustrations. I actually have uh, New York Puzzle Company's advent calendar with uh, Janet Hill art. So, love this one. And then this one, which is uh, Huslespils Boutique's own brand. Uh, the full image is here. Uh, sorry. <laughs> uh, called Thumpelina. Is that how you say her name in English? I'm not sure. Tamelise, we call her in Denmark. Um, very pretty image. And then the last one is one that... Uh, the only one I think I'm not going to do. It's a 1500 jumbo uh, of the universe, and um, the picture isn't quite my style. Um, it's pretty enough, but I have so many puzzles uh, in my to-do pile, um, so I think this is one I'm going to give to someone else. But this surprise box was definitely worth the money. If she ever makes more of these, I'm definitely getting some. Uh, it's so also a lot of fun, not knowing what uh, what puzzles are going to get. Moving on, this month uh, was my birthday, so I got a whole bunch of puzzles for my birthday. The first ones, very special. I got these from a very great friend of mine. Um, she bought these when uh, she was in Japan uh, on holiday. So I got this little cute 150 piece one. With mini pieces. The box right now is empty. I just put this one together last night. Very great quality. Um, super cute. And she also got me this 208 pieces. I don't know what brand these are. It's, uh, it's all in Japanese. I don't know Japanese. This one is a wooden puzzle, so you can see here. Back here. 
so very excited about these. I very much like these images, but also just the fact to have puzzles from Japan is uh, is very special. Uh, so yeah, these two. I think these are probably my favorite of all the puzzles I got for birthday. But I got a lot of good ones. I also got these two from Geeko, right? No, sorry, Lunchy. Sorry. Uh, mini puzzles also. I'll also find some better pictures of these. 150 pieces. I've also done one of these before. I actually have it. Might as well see it here. I've done this one from the same brand. Very much like the quality. Then from my parents, I got this one. Invisi puzzle. 300 pieces. And as the name suggests, the pieces are invisible. See, I don't know how to show you this. <laughs> Completely, I can do this better. See through plastic pieces, so you don't know which side is up and which side is down. I'm not quite sure I'm actually looking forward to doing this puzzle, but I'm up for the challenge. And it's just a cool puzzle to have. I don't just enjoy putting puzzles together, I also enjoy just collecting them. <laughs> two completely different hobbies. Then I got two from Four Point Puzzles, and as you may know, Four Point Puzzles sadly don't exist anymore. So these were very high on my wish list. There's one store in Denmark who've sold Four Point Puzzles, and when, they have, when they've sold the stock they have, there won't be any more. So I got two from the uh, Paint by Number series. This one's called Desert. And then I got this one called Forest. I really like these puzzles and I really like Four Point Puzzles. I'm so sad they, they don't exist anymore. Then an Ibu. Ah, like that. Really like Ibu. I have a lot of Ibu puzzles. Um, and I like basically all the illustrations they make. Um, the only thing I'll say about Ibu is that a lot of the images tend to uh, look a lot alike. Like it can feel like you're putting the same puzzle together over and over. But I really like these illustrations. It's a, it's a bit different from what from other Ibu puzzles. Then. I got two from the brand Pieces and Peace. Uh, I have done one uh, puzzle by them before. Um, follow me on Instagram, also called A Puzzling Lamb. I have a review of the puzzle there. Um, yeah, uh, this is a 500 piece one called Village. Okay, I'm not going to pronounce that. <laughs> You can read it. Yeah. Uh, there. Uh, I really like their images. They have some very cool modern one, moderns one. Um, uh, I like the quality and I like the price. Uh, well, at least in Denmark, they're quite affordable puzzles. The only thing I don't like is the size of the box. This is a 500 piece puzzle. And as you can see, the other one I got was a 1500 piece puzzle and the box is the same size, which just goes to show that this 500 piece puzzle could have been in a much, much smaller box. And when you have as many, pu many puzzles as I have, the size of the box really do matter um, when it comes to storage. But at least it's a beautiful box, so it's not too big of an issue, but I would like if they made the boxes a bit smaller. Yes, but this one, the 1500 piece, Very pretty. I haven't actually ever done a 1500 piece puzzle before. I've done a thousand and smaller and I've done 2000 and 3000, but I think that 1500 would be a very 
uh, very good size, so it's a, a bit more than a, than a thousand pieces, but it's also not the big project that 2,000 or 3,000 piece puzzles are. So yes, this one's very beautiful. So that was the puzzles I got for my birthday. I feel very lucky that I have such good family and great friends. Now this last stack of puzzles is just puzzles I bought for myself because I couldn't help it. And the first ones, uh, I bought some pieces and piece puzzles for myself too. This is a thousand piece one. And I actually, I have a plan that one day I'm going to frame the one, the 1500 piece one I just showed you and this one because I think they'll look great together. So this one is called Catching the Sun. Very, very pretty. And I also got this one, also a thousand pieces, called Swimming Pool. Very pretty. Great summer puzzles. Uh, and they were on sale, so you, I had no choice but to buy them. And this one was on sale to Cloudberries. Cloudberries is also one of my favorite brands. I really like the quality and I like the images. This one is one is called Celestial. See, very pretty. Then a new to me brand. This one. Travel, Travel. I don't know how to pronounce it. It's a French brand. And I've had my eye on this brand for a while, but they haven't been available in Denmark. But who's this bills boutique again? <laughs> uh, started stocking them this month. So I had uh, I had to try one. And this one particularly uh, I fell in love with. Um, my mom and me uh, go on a lot of hiking trips and uh, we go on a big one in the summer and then a small one in the fall uh, and in the spring and uh, on, these, on those small hiking trips we're staying at a cabin. That reminds me quite a lot of this one. The one we're staying at is a bit smaller. There is, uh, there is a lake, not right outside of the cabin, but there is a lake in the area and it just really reminded me of those hiking trips. Uh, and I also just really like the colors in this one. I have already done it. And I have to say that this brand is now my second favorite puzzle brand. They are not cheap, but you really get your money's worth. Um, the pieces are just amazing. Uh, they're matte and they f uh, feel really great. And they um, uh, hold together very well. Uh, the pieces come in a fabric bag, which is always very luxurious luxurious <laughs> yes so really really love this brand um and i can't wait to get more of those puzzles i also got a mini one uh, oh and the uh, that thousand piece it was is called autumn cottage and this one is called backyard i have already done this one very very great quality probably one of uh probably the best quality i've tried in a mini puzzle the only thing is it's only 99 pieces most uh, mini puzzles are 150 pieces and i will say that 99 pieces is just on the small size for me it was over very quick uh i'd wished they made these in 150 pieces but no matter what i'm gonna get more of these very cute then I got a Gallison puzzle, Liberty, and this one, 500 pieces. And this one is from the new series, uh, I think they call book puzzles. So the box is like this, and it looks a bit like a book. Um, I'm very excited about this. I have a bit of a complicated uh, relationship with Gallison. Uh, it's one of the brands I have the most puzzles from. I really, really love the images. They're masters in making great puzzle images. Um, it's the pieces I'm not the biggest fan of. Um, they're generally great quality, but they have a paper bagging. Not my favorite. All the pieces are the two in, two out, standard puzzle piece shape. Not my favorite. 
There's just something about the way they snap together I'm not a big fan of. But what's exciting about this one is that as you may be able to see, this one actually has a varied piece shape. Um, and I've seen on other people's posts and in on Instagram with new Gallison puzzles that it seems like a lot of the new puzzles have this more varied piece shape. I hope it's a sign that they're moving away from the uh, two uh, in two out piece shape, making more varied piece shapes. Because if they changed that and if they maybe got rid of the paper backing, Gallison would probably be my favorite puzzle brand. Um, but they're not quite there yet. But I hope this is a good sign. So, and I also really like this box. Nice and compact and looks great on the shelf. Really great. And the image is wonderful too. <laughs> Images, after all, the most important thing. Then, a pomegranate called a resounding success. It's only 300 pieces. But I really, really love this image. Uh, until now, I've only done 1,000 piece uh, pomegranate puzzles. So I'm very excited to try this one. Uh, I really like pomegranate. Um, this one, as you can see, giant puzzle pieces. How can you not fall in love with this image? So cute. Then the last one is one I've had on my wish list for a very, very long time, but um, there have been uh, websites that have had this puzzle but none I really bought a lot from, uh, but I finally got it. So this one called the Raconteur from the brand Hardy Grant. Get it straight here. I haven't done this brand before, but this image is just amazing. And I really, uh, I'm really looking forward to it. The box is very pretty. Pretty. I have to admit that the box means more to me than it probably should. A puzzle with an image I absolutely love. I actually might choose not to buy if I don't like the box. Um, I, I'm really, uh, it just means a lot to me. I like to have my puzzles on show, so it means a lot to me. And I'm, it's always fun trying a new brand. So I thought I was done filming this video, but I just received a package in the mail. And since I'm filming this on the last day of May, this goes in this puzzle haul. And I thought I'd unbox it here on camera. So this is from the brand Forma Cultura from Italy. Uh, it's a brand that, as far as I can see, primarily makes paper and wooden models of buildings but they also make wooden puzzles so let's see I ordered they had a set with all the products they had with Vincent van Gogh so let's see it's two wooden puzzles the first this one. I like the box very well designed. Let's see what they have here in the back. 243 pieces. Very excited to open it. And then the second puzzle is this one. Let's see what 259 pieces and then also and I'm very excited for this this is not puzzles but postcards with paper models of some of his paintings so you can make them into 3d models this is very fun. 
this is puzzles I will definitely feature in a video at some point. Let me open this up completely so we can see the pieces inside. I'm always excited when I discover new wooden puzzle brands, especially some in Europe, so I can get a hold of on them. So let's see. I know you can't see very much here. Let's see. Ooh, the pieces come in a fabric bag. Ooh, I can smell it already. Mm. So let's see. Okay, so that's a fabric bag and then a plastic bag. Oh, these shapes looks looks fun. Can you see it? And I can already see a few whimsy pieces. Ooh. Very excited to try those. And they just made it into the May puzzle haul. So that was my May puzzle haul. I will say I don't normally acquire that many puzzles in a month. It didn't help that it was my birthday, but I'm not complaining. And again, if there are any of these puzzles you'd like to see featured in a video, please let me know. And I'd also love to know if there are any of these puzzles you have done and what you thought about them. If you want to see even more puzzle content from me, please follow me on Instagram. See you next time!